Hey everyone, I am going to show you how to get this look using the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. This is my go-to look for every day. I can even darken it up even more to um, go out at night with this look. It is my go-to look, like I just said, and um, I'm really, really loving this palette. So if you want to know how to do this, keep watching. Okay, so in the interest of time, I've already put on my paint pot and, um, and soft ochre and done my eyebrows. And let's get started. So, it is officially 10 o'clock where I am. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, which looks like that. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but I actually have all six colors on my eye, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, first we're going to do the lid color, and that's this, um, these are all the matte shades. It's this, the color's not picking up true on the camera, but it's sort of a, it's very similar to Naked in the Urban Decay palette, actually. So I'm just using a flat brush, my e.l.f. brush, and I'm going to put that on all over the lid, kind of avoiding the inner corner completely. I went a little too far. And just pack that on. And I would also twist it and pull it up into the crease just a little bit. And then also dab just the tip in like that. And go underneath the eye. Not all the way, about to your um, pupil. And make sure they connect. I like to go up into the crease a little bit because I have the hooded eye, which means that I kind of droop. So if I didn't, it'd be like that. Wow. Cool. Okay. Then um, I'm just brushing the, this off actually on my hand. And I'm going to go back in on the um, sparkly side, the shimmery side. And I'm going to use this shimmer. Does that come out better? The shimmery one. And I'm going to just really get it loaded onto my brush and then go into that inner corner with that. Really make sure you get that on there. Um, today I am meeting the room, the headroom mom of my fourth graders class. I opted not to be headroom mom this year and let somebody else do it since I have some other bigger positions and but it looks like I'm kind of running the show because she is not the take charge kind of girl. But anyway, we're meeting for coffee to go over our plans for the holiday party that's coming up. And um, I'm dropping off pies at the elementary school for the teachers for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to the bank. So this is what I would wear going out. Okay, so we have our inner highlight color. And I've also run it underneath kind of to meet up with the uh, other color. Then taking a... I'm just looking through my collection here. Um a domed crease brush. This one is also e.l.f. E -L -F. This I can't find in the stores. I actually ordered this on the website. It's still only a dollar, but I don't know why. This is maybe the best brush they make. I'm dipping that into this um, shimmery color, this coppery color. That's going to be my crease color. So I'm just tapping the tip in. Getting off the excess. Remember, tip back so you can see your socket. I start about midway. And I'm almost going... I know this. I'm going to blend. Don't worry. Don't freak out. Uh, I'm going almost straight out because I kind of want to accentuate almost like a cat eye and then bring it down. Now, I have recently discovered, oh and also I'm just going to tip back a little bit and get a little bit under there. I've recently discovered the best blending tool. You ready? I'm not giving you the finger. This really works, you know. Um, it really nails it for me. You can also go back, obviously, with your blend with a blending brush, but this is a good way to just kind of soften it without taking too much of the color off. I'm gonna go a little farther, and I'm gonna make sure I get into that into the crease itself, but also above the crease for me. Now, if you have normal eyes, that might not be an issue for you, and you can stay in the crease, but I need to go over a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to blend everything really well at the end. I, for my outer V, I'm using, again, 
It is another e.l.f. brush, and it's um, a contour. Can you see that? And I'm dipping it into this darkest brown matte color. Just the tip. <sighs> Make sure you really uh, get the excess off. And then I'm just going along the lash line and up into this outer corner. I'm actually making my outer V with a, an angled, it kind of makes sense. If you're making an angle, why not use an angled brush? And then a little more and just the tiniest dot there. You can fill that in a little if you'd like. Now don't worry if everything's not blended, because remember, we haven't blended yet. Then, okay, we're on to color number five if you're keeping track. You can use your same flat brush and wipe it off. I happen to have a million of these little elf brushes. I'm going in with this gold color. Bosley, come here, buddy. We're not going outside. Come here, Boz. Go hang out on your chair. Can you see where Mimi is? You can't, I'll show you at the end. This is pretty funny. Okay, so gold color, I'm putting it right in the middle of my lid. I think my workman showed up. Must be nice not to show up to work until after 10. Okay, so there's my shimmer. And then the last color, I'm going to go back to this brush. I've just dusted it off on my jeans. Finally, I'm using this. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to get this to focus. It's like a creamy, it almost has hints of beigey pink in it, and it's matte. And um, I'm just placing, pat I'm patting it on and then blending a little bit. Okay, yes, I've just used six colors on my face, on my eyes. It doesn't look like it, but it does give it a little dimension. And now I'm going back, I'm sorry, with my fluffy brush. This happens to be an SS224, which is like the MAC, but not because it's cheaper. And I'm blending everything together. I'm so not even. Well, this is what happens when you do one eye at a time. In real life, obviously, nobody would do this. So, again, I'm going back over with my finger, which would help if it's clean, because at this point I'm just adding more goo on. Um, to blend it out a little bit more, I'm going to put a little more on my blendy brush here. Just kind of, there we go. Now, I will play with this before I leave the house, but for the sake of the tutorial, this is it for the eyeshadow. In real life, obviously, I would do both eyes at the same time and get a better um, evenness, but I'm using um, my Fabuliner, my Jordana Fabuliner in brown, and I'm not doing anything. Oops, I just nailed myself. Not doing anything particularly fancy today. Can I just say, this is really hard to do without looking in a mirror. I'm trying to see this in the mirrored reflection from the video camera, which is tricky. Okay, so there's your eyeliner. And then my new favorite mascara combination that I got from somebody else, and I can't remember, I'm sorry whose video I was watching, but you had a great idea. They start with the um, voluminous carbon black, and then they follow it up, almost like to seal it in, I guess, with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. That way you get no transfer, and I tried this yesterday, and it worked out, oops, got to curl first, worked out great. I will admit that I'm looking forward to going to London for a variety of reasons, but one of those is to get some cool mascara while I'm out there. Okay, I've heard the Collection 2000 fake big lash or something like that is a dead on dupe for the benefit bad gal so I am looking forward to that I will say that my oops sorry um this is getting kind of clumpy huh this might be the end of it for the voluminous carbon black well we'll get out those clumps with this It's amazing how much a difference mascara makes. It really does finish things out. 
So that's it for the eyes. This is the face. I've already done my foundation and I'll list everything. My concealer, except I have to touch that up. Nice. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Um, I'll list everything that I use for blush and bronzer and all that stuff. And then, um, real quickly, I'm going to line with um, the Jordana Natural Lip Liner. And I need a mirror for this. Sorry. I'm not going to define, uh, I have chapstick on, so it's not sticking, that's one reason. And it's daytime, and I'm just meeting this mom for the first time, so I don't, I don't want to be like, hey, full-on makeup. So... And today's lipstick, I'm using Estee Lauder Pure Color Sugar Honey. And for a little gloss, I'm using Jordana. That seems to be the theme here in Divine. It's the gloss. Take my. So there you have it, other than the giant zit on my face. And obviously, my hair needs a little work, but um, that's the finished product. And sorry, my hair is distracting me. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. I would wear this. I would wear this if I worked. I would wear this um, every day. It easily can be darkened up, make it a little more glamorous for nighttime um so yeah i think this is a great everyday look and you can duplicate some of this with the um urban decay naked palette but frankly this is my go-to everyday look for the last couple of weeks and um and i like it and it does stay my shadows don't move so i guess i'm lucky oh real quick i put new nail polish on in honor of the Royal Engagement over in England. It just so happened this is called Royal Romance. It's by Sally Hansen. It's their it's the bottle that has a little diamond rhinestone on the on the front. So um have a great day. Thanks for watching and uh I'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye.